A warming center and transportation have been set up for the thousands of Durham residents who are still without power tonight. This community has been without power since 1.45 this afternoon after an equipment problem at a substation. WRL's Aaron Thomas joins us live in Durham. Aaron, at the height of the outage, this affected 11,000 customers. Where does it stand right now? Yeah, that's a pretty significant number that you mentioned, Ashley. At last check with uh, Duke Energy spokesman Jeff Brooks, he says there are still 8,000 customers without power at this hour here in Durham. That means roughly 3,500 customers have had their power restored. Behind me is the Health and Human Services building here along 414 East Main Street. I am seeing some activity inside. This is being used as a warming shelter. Durham's mayor tells us that about eight people are using this shelter, but that pales in comparison to the thousands of people uh, around Durham that still are waiting for their power to be restored. We'll show you some video now. We actually saw some uh, crews uh, working to get this uh, power uh, restored um, throughout the night. This is an hours long uh, effort. Uh, the power is expected to be restored around midnight. We also had Sky 5 flying over the substation. That's the source of this widespread outage. We're told that this is the result of an equipment issue that occurred during maintenance. Now tonight we spoke with Durham Mayor Leonardo Williams about efforts to help people uh, without power. We also spoke with the person impacted by these hour long outages. When something like this happens, you know, it puts us at a significant, significant disadvantage. Some of our most vulnerable communities are in jeopardy right now of just not having warmth. I guess we're gonna have to go to a hotel somewhere. Let's go probably a cold night tonight. It certainly is cold and a long way for many of these people to go. Now, the mayor tells us that the city was using Go Durham buses to transport people here at this uh, shelter that I just uh, mentioned that's here at the Health and Human Services building. Uh, he also said that some people declined to use this shelter at the time being. But I do want to stress and emphasize that our team of meteorologists, they've uh, shared how uh, concerning these temperatures can be, and they can actually be dangerous for anyone that's trying to tough them out if they don't have heat. So, of course, if alternate housing is an option, of course, we have that, and there's also the shelter here in downtown Durham. Ashley? A whole lot of people still waiting for their power to be restored. I know those crews are working really hard to make sure that they can do it as quickly as possible. Aaron Thomas reporting live in Durham. Thank you.